Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to MIG Monday. On one of our previous videos, we had a comment posted. A fellow wanted to know uh, what's the best gas to use or what gas should he use as a home hobbyist with his little small home welding machine. Well, the two most popular blends, there's a lot of different gases that can be used for wig, MIG welding. However, the home guy, the home repair guy, uh, typically is going to have to choose between one of two blends, either a straight 100% CO2 or a blend they call C25, which is 75% argon, 25% CO2. Uh, what are the differences between those two? Why would you use one over the other? Uh, well, let me talk a little bit about penetration profiles. On the straight CO2, the 100% CO2, you get a broader, deeper penetration pattern. It's a, a wider, deep penetration. On the 7525, or the C25, as it's also known, uh, you get a kind of a, a narrower, deep penetration. And then as, it, as, the, as the penetration profile nears the surface, it kind of flares out, almost, look, almost like a funnel. Uh, sometimes it washes in a little better. You might get a little bit of flatter uh, weld surface. And also, uh, typically, there's a little bit less spatter. Uh, but as far as uh, major differences for the home hobbyist, uh, most people, I believe, would opt for the C25, mostly because of the cost difference. It's, it's less expensive and less muss and fuss. So anyway, what I'd like to do today to help demonstrate that, uh, that whole scenario is I've got a, I have a, a set up here where I can weld either with the mixed gas or with the 100% CO2. So I'm going to make a weld using each one of those, and then we can kind of decide what we see when I'm finished with doing that, all right? That sounds like a pretty good idea. I have here a piece of metal that's pretty clean. Might have a little dust and oil on it, so what I'm gonna do is just use it quickly, use a little easy wipe on here to remove any, any oil and stuff because we know we always wanna have a, a nice clean weld. And even though this material looks pretty clean, once I wipe it down a little bit, you can see that there's a lot of dirt and stuff on there. And getting that off is, is certainly a, 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 a step forward in making a good weld. All right, so anyway, let's uh, get the safety gear on and try and make a weld and see how, how that all works out for us. All right, so here we go. This is gonna be the blended gas, the C25. I'm just gonna do a little bead here and we'll kind of check it out. You can see here, let me get, get a little of the soot off of there. You can see that's a nice, nice bead, nice and smooth, very minimal spatter. Uh, that's typically what they say is the advantage of, the, of this for the home hobby guy, a little bit less cleanup. But uh, again, you have a little bit added cost because of the blended gas. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna shut off the, uh, or change the gas so that I'm welding with 100% CO2. We'll essentially do the same thing and we'll make a comparison, all right? All right, all right, here we go. All right, so, all right, cosmetically, still a good looking weld. And I don't know that it's necessarily significant, but you can see that there's a little bit more spatter that was laid down here. And of course that for the most comes off with a chipping hammer or, or a light grinding and you can get rid of the spatter. So most of that's gonna be more of a cosmetic or a cleanup reducing issue to go with the, C, uh, with the C25. Uh, for my money, Generally, I'm just going to do the, the straight CO2. It's the less costly gas, and you still get great results. So, hope that's answered the question, and we'll see you next time on MIG Monday.